Christy Willingham. Raymond Pavey. This was our house. It is haunted. It's like today we moved in here. Stuff's happened nonstop. Um, so do you want to go ahead and tell them about the backstory of this house? Yeah, like so the, the backstory of this house is, um, back in the 90s, there was a kid named Matt that lived here. Matthew Messer. Matthew Messer. And he was a people pleaser, loved to please people. But one day he decided to end his life and he hung himself from a tree in our backyard. Um, the story behind it is he had a girlfriend, had sex with this girl for the first time. This girl thought it would be funny to tell him that she was pregnant with his baby and he went and ended his life over it. And it turned out to not be true. So he ended his life for no reason. Um, took two months for us to actually fix it to what it is now. Um, Raymond would be here by himself working, would think I was in the house, actually call out to me. Um, he would go looking through the house and I'm not here. Um, when we were moving things in, me and my children, we heard stuff moving in this living room when we were in a bedroom. Um, well, one like, day. Like what, like when you say like moving stuff, like, like what kind Like of you could hear like boxes moving or like, like we had stuff stacked in here while we were trying to set around. up other rooms oh, okay. and it sounded like somebody was in here like one time she thought i come in the front door and started moving shit around while like they were in one of the back bedrooms mm -hmm. i was still at work man and you know she man. called me after she realized i wasn't home like where are you at and i don't remember where i was at at the time but you know i was at work i was in a different county mm -hmm. <laughs> so it wasn't me here moving boxes around um there was one day i actually took a shower and this particular day Raymond would th think it was funny to like try to hide behind things and jump out and try to scare me. I had just taken a shower this particular night. I had the towel wrapped around me. I come to walk down the hallway and I see two feet run in front of our fish tank, like onto the other side, like it was going into the closet by our front door. Which I is right over here. If you can look over here, you can see that your closet is right here and the front door. Um, I even yelled out, Raymond, haha, you're not very funny, I just seen you, and I come walking around the corner and I look and Raymond's not there. Raymond was actually in our bedroom, which is on the other side of the house. And I was asleep at the time, so it was... So... That's crazy. Yeah, things move on their own. Well, including us, we've all heard him, seen him. He constantly does things to let us know that he is definitely here. So would you say that there is more than just Matt in this home? Oh yeah, Feels there's like definitely it, yes. more. Yes. There are several in our home and they have been seen on camera. Which you can look multiple times. Behind him on the TV we have the it's infrared, it's obviously night vision. You can see all of these orbs just flying. Look how phenomenal that is, guys. And when you see a lot of activity in the the kitchen too, which is up to the right corner, and then down here, I haven't really seen nothing in that room. Look, my light and, just came on again. Motion detector. Motion right there. Dog. It's got motion detector, and all the dogs are put up. Daisy's, and if you you just seen it, look at all this. All right, go ahead and come back to me. Um, yeah, there are several times. And as you I see, the up. cameras are acting up for some reason. So. Yeah, our cameras have never acted up. They're all not playing right right uh, now. What was crazy is when we first got here, like, we turned the EM pump on. Like, my hair is standing straight up right now. Yeah, and like, when me and you went to that back room back there, it, it felt strong, Matt's old room. But when we really went into the other room, it's a whole totally different, different feeling. Room. The way that the temperature is different. Mm. The, the the just the feeling the the anxious anxiety feeling yes. and bad and Dalton is got dizzy when I'm in there. But I was standing right next to closet. that closet had had me lightheaded. Um, um, but so overall, when you overall when you guys have lived oh here, like what was like the biggest like moment that you guys have experienced that's actually shook you guys? That's like actually like kind of made you scared. I wouldn't say it, it's not really doesn't make me scared. Yeah, it didn't scare us because we both accept it. We both know what, you know. But I think the biggest moment be. for myself would be actually when we first got our camera system and put it up. And we knew, figured out the whole story of Matt. 
Um, we actually did our own little private investigation between us. He had the cameras pulled up on his phone. I had the cameras pulled up on my phone. Which keep in, keep in mind guys, she's actually showed me these videos, which I'll have her pulled up on her phone later so that we can show you. Uh -huh. But she does have videos on her phone and proof. Yes. And it's actually The one really I'm about phenomenal. to talk about, I actually didn't get that one. And I'm so upset that I didn't. But um, him and my oldest son was sitting at the back door on the floor, looking at his phone, watching the cameras live. I was actually sitting at the kitchen table and I'd asked a very specific question to Matt about, did he like it when Shane played guitar? Because they both self-taught themselves how to play guitar and they both are into the same types of music. No sooner I said that, we see this very bright, bright orb that had a tracer behind it come out of the corner of the ceiling, come down perfect. You see it touched my son's head and then it goes back up and it disappeared. But I'm so upset <laughs> I didn't get that one like actually recorded. You open and close that front door like a normal person walking in. I was here by myself. I thought hmm. she got off work early and no she didn't. I was in the back bedroom working. That front door literally is clear as day. You know even to this day I'll still vouch for it because you know I've opened it a thousand times by now. Mm -hmm. It was that front door opening and closing. That kind of rattled me a little bit. I was like, okay, you know, but like I said, we don't show, you know, we ain't showing no fear. We ain't scared. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it exactly. is what it They're is. So dominant almost. Like, right. Hey. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. We, you know, hey, if you're good to us, we're good to you. Don't hurt nobody. We won't have you. Do you realize that back to that light was just flicking? When I said that, that light started to like pulsate, kind of. Second look and it is, it's not there. So, you know, there's been a few things that's kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, catch you off guard. But, yeah, I think my biggest was the front door incident, open and shutting, clear as day by itself. Sweet, man. Well, yeah, just, my kids will periodically come out here and tell us that Matt tries to play with them. And they yep. tell him things like they don't want to play. So, we all see him. We all hear him. But there's more than just him here. There are... Oh, sure multiple. I just haven't figured out who else yeah, those people are. Those shirts are moving. Those shirts are moving. Those shirts are swaying back and, and there's forth. there's motion in that room. And there's motion in that room. And there's no fan in that room, dude. No. Yeah, no. The only thing in that room is a baseboard heater and it's behind that nightstand and dresser over on the opposite end of the wall. Oh my God, look at them. Yeah. There's so many. But yeah, <laughs> like I said, guys, we are here. We're live, man. I appreciate you guys for letting us, you know, come into your guys' home and actually do an investigation here. Um, yeah, guys. It, You're very welcome, man. Glad you, glad you came. Yeah, so right now, we are in Matt's old room. Um, we are sitting here. We got the pump going, and we have the EMF reader going. My cousin is in here with me right now. Um, you want to do your thing? You want to talk to him? Room. Like, can you make this little machine right here go off? Or show yourself? I just seen him go across. I see you, man. My, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kenny. I am Christy's cousin, which I am also a formal paranormal investigator out of obviously Indiana, but I work with Ghostly Days. Um, I'm here to figure out answers about you, buddy. Uh, if you can, you can communicate yourself with me. I'm willing. I'm open to talk to you. Matt, do you miss Shane being in this room? I heard something over in that closet. It sounded like a mm -mm. I don't know if it was like a toy. No, nope, no toys over there. Well, except for the stuffed animal, but... Yeah, I mean, but that's... Make, yeah. Animals. Matt, are you in here with us right now, buddy? I'm gonna try to get a wide angle. Did you let my puppy out of her cage the other day? You don't have to be scared. Matt, if you're scared of me, buddy, I'm a friendly person. I'm here to communicate myself with you. This is your home. This is your guys' home. I'm not here to intrude. I'm not here to 
be mean or be hateful. I'm here to find answers and be kind. I am a good-hearted spiritual person. I'm here to reach out to you, buddy. If you can make my EMF reader go up or jump at all, that would be awesome. Why do I find it hard to breathe back here? Do you ever feel that? Mm -hmm. Like it's really hard it's to breathe right hard now. To breathe back here. Like it's in the chest, like uh, like a short of breath, almost in like a lightheaded feeling. <clears throat> I need to catch him too. Uh... All right, guys. So we're back in this room again. There's Corey. There's Brandon. Uh, we did lay out a cigarette because Matt did smoke cigarettes and I would want him to be welcomed and obviously let him know that we are open. So what's your thoughts right now, Corey? What are you feeling? Hmm, anxiety. I feel anxiety right now. And you got Kaylee over there. Kaylee decided to come tonight. Yeah, Hi. Christy. <laughs> um, well, Matt, if you're in here with us right now, buddy. Can you make a noise? Can you knock something over? Touch one of us to let us know that you're here? Dude, the energy back here is unbelievable. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel it in my head. Yeah, I got my chest. Away from you. Probably, they love me. Here, let me see it real quick. Let me see it real quick. I don't... Whoa. It's hard to be going off on me tonight. I think he likes you. Or one of the other ones that's in the house. Could not even be in the house. Dude, it's something about you, man. You tap it to yourself. You know, like... How his like bedroom was set up, kind of. I don't really know that. I just remember being told by his brother that it was Hunter Green when they lived here. Um, he self taught himself how to play guitar. He went to Avon High School. Um, Bro, you have anything on you? Into... Like, like anything like? Mm. Mm. <laughs> crazy man it's and it's and it's only on you bro like it, it don't look hey let try to touch this let christy's holding this emf reader see if you can make it go off why she is holding it Did you hear that? That ting? Beating it up. <clears throat> All right, to anyone that's in this room, you don't have to be scared. We know you're here. I mean, you show us all the time that you're here. Just so, you, just so you know, we're not messing with that email. We're going to come over here real quick. Let her put that up to you. Just so you know, we're not... Put it a little bit closer. Hmm. No, it's not going on. I really got kind of hotter in here. Does it mm -hmm. feel hotter There's in here? There's a lot of pressure in my head. Same. Alright, how about, can you make a noise? Like, knock on a wall? Knock Izzy's slipper off the top of the ottoman? What 
Did you hear that? Am I, not, am mm -hmm. I the only no, one? I heard it. it was like, 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 yeah, like, like, happy. Is that you doing that, bro? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It was the dogs. False alarm, guys. Okay. It was the dogs. <laughs> Tell everybody to sit on the fucking floor. Come on, sit on the floor. All right, guys. Let's make a circle. <laughs> so, if you're here with us right now, Raymond went to go get you some flashlights to play with because you really seemed to like to play with those last time. Do I feel a lot of pressure? Yeah, your head? I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Kind of like your head's burning. I almost feel like like somebody's like squeezing my head like that kind of pressure. Mm-hmm. Do you get that a lot? Do you get that a lot? In this room. Who sleeps in here? My daughter. She's 11. Does she ever say anything? Oh yeah, all the time. Her, Dalton, Shannon, all my kids, and William, they all feel different in their rooms, but yeah, they've all said something. Not too long ago, it was about two weeks ago, Dalton and Azora came in the living room and looked at me and Raymond and said, well, Matt wanted to play with us, but we told him he that we didn't want to play with him. Not today. We told him to go away. And they'll just randomly, out of the blue, come to me and just say, well, we seen Matt, or Matt's doing this, Matt's you doing know, that. Shane stayed in this room before, and mm -hmm. now it's her. Do, do you, like, hear, like, more from the child that's staying in this room? I think she's more intuitive because she's younger. For sure. Yeah. But here lately, a lot has been happening in our house. Um, dog cage doors opening and shed doors opening in the backyard. You can be, or I will be in my bedroom, and I swear I hear the bathroom door shut, and nobody's here but us. So, me and Raymond. You guys want to try working around? I never heard this complain of a lot of headaches. All the time. That's what I feel like I got a headache. Me too. I'm so, I like, it's not like I got a full headache, but it's like on the verge of having a headache. Mm -hmm. Like so creeping? Yeah, it's a creeper. You guys want to move to another room? Yeah, we can. We can go. Dog. It, it, it. no dog more. Oh, shoo. <laughs> it was Alright, debunk, guys. It was a... See that big ear? Like, like it sound like a whine to me because it that's what I was thinking. Alright, guys, yeah, let's move to Dalton's room. He sees stuff in it all the time. Like the closet? Mm hmm. Look at them cute little birds. <laughs> and he's not scared of dark, but he will not sleep in this room without his light on or the TV on for light. If there is anybody in here with me right now, can you show yourself in the closet or move something in the closet for me, please, to let us know that you are here? You can move the hanger. You can move the clothes. You can knock on the... What the fuck is that noise? Why is that going off right here? And you can tell there is like no. Is there any electronics? There's no. Is there any electronics on this at all? Uh uh. Bro. No, it's a bird's cage. <laughs> Man. Oh. 
Hold on. Did you realize when I just leaned in, it chirped at me? Uh -huh. I just leaned in to look down the inside the closet, and it chirped. Yeah. It does it when I put it against it. Like it's something inside. Yeah, man. I mean, it's crazy. Shane, as you guys can tell, it is 11.43. We're about to hit midnight, man, so it's getting pretty late here. Ooh, the witching hour. Yeah. <laughs> you all right, Bill? Yeah, I'm good. Man, he got a nice computer, boy. Ooh. Dude, it is, it is cold in here. Oh, he a gamer, huh? My 14-year-old is, yeah. Hey, 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 I heard what you were hearing. Oh, it was like knocking. It was knocking, yeah. Oh, it might be. Oh, debunk. It. It's this right here. Be safe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, as I said in the other rooms, I don't know if you guys were in here with us. Door to the bathroom. Why is that going off right there? I don't know. It's a bed. That's really yeah. cold. Feel that bed. Who sleeps up there? <laughs> My oldest chain. Go to the bottom. Oh, with this one if you guys are in here with us right now will you please make a sign Corey, I just seen an orb shoot right past your head bro that's really getting me why is it beeping like that i don't man? know and you know what's weird is that one is like an old type mattress where you know it does have springs in it but this one it's a memory foam, it boy. It's a memory foam. It has no metal in it at all. It's literally just foam. What? Can you guys make a noise for us in this room? You may have yeah. to play a string on the guitar. There's several in this room to choose from. It got really blurry in here. The camera did. Okay. Just making sure. I had to, because I heard a. I know, I heard why I trying to stay still. Bro, it jumps to like 1,000. Yeah, bro, it's almost flatlining, man. Dude, it feels a lot colder in this room. Cold? Yeah, it's a lot colder in this room, but I feel like it's more mellow. But I feel like it's more... I, I'm not, I don't know. Over here, I get freezing cold. Yeah, it's cold on that bed. What, what do you think? I feel like something. Matt's up there chilling. Probably. I mean, I mean it's I'll have both. to show pictures so you can put in your video what Matt looks like when he killed himself. Okay. And he was 15 when we moved in this house. My oldest son was 15 at the time. He is now 17. And they look a lot alike. The yeah. only difference I see in them two is their hair color. Man, that's, that's crazy. It. And, and they both like the exact same things. Um, it's hanging on his wall. So. Um, they go to the same school. <laughs> Wow. What's that app, bro? But what's crazy, it's not even that high, bro, and it's freaking out like that. It's bouncing between 1, 9, and 2. Does those numbers mean anything? 1, 9, and 2? Oh, my God. What? Hulk. 
Wasn't that bouncing between one, nine, and two? Let me cut the camera off. Yeah, wow. that just like. Oh my. Dude, it wasn't it. It was bouncing from one, nine to two. Yeah, oh my gosh, dude. Like, that just like brought tears to my eyes, too. Like, holy shit. That was just like instantaneous. And that's another thing. I am an empath, just so everyone knows. Was it on the first I got an awesome cousin, guys. <laughs> Um, there are times where Matt will make me feel what he felt the day he died, and it's horrible. Um, okay, so she's got an EVP right here that we're going to be using to try to communicate with Matt and the other spirits that are in here. Um, you can tell there's motion sensor in each room. And we haven't been in there. We did just go in there and hang a glow just stick right there. Off. The kitchen just went off, look. Motion sensor down there. And that was before she walked through the background on that kitchen. Okay. Can we leave the door open? Yeah. Alright. I mean, this was in here earlier and there was tapping. Over there on the wall, like behind the ottoman. Alright, so if you want to go, I'll turn this on so it don't interfere with anything. Okay. Alright, if you're in this room, can you tap on something for us? Make any kind of noise to let us know you're in here. Be assured that nobody's here is going to hurt you. Nobody's here to taunt you. We're here to help you, man. Here to communicate ourselves with you. To let other people know out there that there's so much more than just what we have on planet Earth right now. That you guys are still here with us. I know you used to like to smoke, so I brought you a cigarette and a lighter. I don't have the same feeling in here as I did earlier when all of us came in here. Like when you like this? Like somebody pushing on my head, like squeezing your head. Mm -hmm. Are you guys now? He's talking like I said, like that. You know what I mean? Like he's not wanting to be here. I don't know if it's like really good for him. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because like he like halfway through this, he was like ready to roll. You know what I mean? And then like as soon as we like, as soon as I really like brought that up to him, he kind of like really set me apart. You know what I mean? You know, but like. Right now, uh, like I said at the beginning of this investigation, I really do respect you. I respect the person that you are. Um, I do feel sorry for what had happened to you and I do show, show sympathy, um, but if you are here with us right now, can you not make a noise, knock over that slipper I put up there, or something, make the EMF reader jump?
made me want to say, I mean, you in here by yourself. I mean, you talk to him. Dude, I really feel like it's, bro, it's connected to you. <clears throat> like something, bro, it, it, it's not necessarily bad, though. You know what I mean? I feel like he feels pity because of what you're going through, bro. Which, obviously, I'm not going to say on camera, but you know what I mean, bro? Like, he, mm -hmm. he's trying to connect with you, bro. It's nothing bad. It's nothing to be scared of. He's really actually trying to reach out to you, bro, to let you know, hey, bro, it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't sweat it, man, you know? But I really do think that is a good idea. I think you should be back here. Um, I'll set the camera up. Go back and listen to that later. And if he's really okay. talking, what is that, bro? you'll be able to catch it. All right, what was that? EVP. Don't be shy, buddy. Now yeah. your time to have fun and interact with people. You got this, man. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just me and you, man. I know I, what Kenny said can be very true. Maybe you are trying to get out of too hard of me, and I can feel you. I I really do. I feel you. So, I mean, if you want. Can you show me anything? I'll give my hand out. If you want to give me a high five or anything. That would be cool too, man. I feel like we would be like good friends if you were here with us. Even though you still are. We could still be good friends. Because can't, now I can't know Kenny. He's like a big brother. Um, maybe you can sit right here next to me, right here. Um, we can talk to each other. If you want to talk to me, I understand. If it isn't Matt, then let me know. Give me a knock. Turn the TV on. I can feel your spirit. I know you're here with me, Matt. If you're sitting across from me, I really will do appreciate it. Man, you see a whole bunch of them in the living room with us. Okay. Man, I wish we had a spirit box. I know, right? That'd be awesome.
awesome. We've caught quite a bit of some stuff here. As Kaylee said, she doesn't have a good feeling in Dalton's room, which is this one right here. She says something about that is just... It was hurting her leg. I think the most active room in here is probably Dalton's, to be honest with you. I mean, what do you guys think? I feel it's stronger in Dalton's room than anything. It's snowing in the living room right now. Look on the camera. Yep. Look at that. Good. Energy galore. And there's most. Dude, it is snowing in this living room, dude. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. move it. Yeah, it. Like 3.30. Did you hear it? Yeah. Did you hear it? You good, bro? Yeah. Damn it. It almost sounds like he's like laughing. Yeah, right. Yeah. My house freaking out yet? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Sure. I'm curious to see if anything is said when he is in there by himself. I know the headphones make it a lot louder than. All right, now I'm up to where. Come on, you want to play with the kids? Play with us. I'd like to hear you one of your songs. Can you please play a song for me? Come on, strum one of the strings. We love guitar. You like Nirvana? Nirvana's one of my favorite bands. You like old classic rock? Play me a song if you can. Here, I'll play it again. What did it say, bro? You can't hear, you can't hear it. Oh, you can't hear Let what me, it says. Um, All right, guys, that's wraps for tonight. Um, it is really late. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I know he's got to get home because he's got a child at home. he got to get home because he's tired. <laughs> and we got to go get our dogs. But right now we are already set a set schedule. She's going over uh, audio taping right now. We do have a set schedule now. We are going to come back here and do another investigation. Um, I hope you guys like this one for sure. This one was a great one. We caught a lot of, a lot of evidence on proof of there is something in this home. Um, I really do hope you guys have a good one. I hope you guys like this one. Uh, stay suspenseful, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.